What's up traders, they fix Hunter here and welcome to another video and this one will be about the dollar index and why is it very important to track this uh, instrument and how it can help us in trading the forex. So first of all, please subscribe and hit the like uh, if you like these videos and uh, follow me on the trading view and on the telegram for the daily update so let's start with analyzing the dollar index we can see that on the monthly we have the reaction on this long-term channel right and as well on this demand zone where was price ranging for some time and now we are seeing finally it's breaking higher and uh, it's moving higher right so on the weekly we have as well beautiful reaction here on this bottom and uh, where we expecting the price to come is uh, somewhere around uh, this zone or uh, around uh, this zone right so between this channel and this uh, um, supply zone I'm thinking that the price is going somewhere here what's gonna happen in here I don't know yet but uh, I'm thinking we are heading in there and we can see that on the lower time frame so here on the daily where we can see that the price uh, has a uh, break up uh, in here and we can see that it's create, it has created uh, this beautiful demand zone where we have uh, this uh, reaction then the price is consolidating and moving higher and again we have beautiful reaction in here right so there is a uh, definitely the uptrend right we have the uptrend on the weekly and uh, uh, here is actually on the monthly I forgot to mention we have the broken trend but strong reaction on this uh, monthly demand zone so which is in the control a potential target could be 97 if we will come there we will see we have a lot of obstacles uh, in our way right so now if we know that the month uh, monthly is uh, under the control of the demand zone weekly as well and the daily had the reaction as well where we possibly going is uh, to the next uh, opposing supply zone right it can go even higher and I think it will go there because if you look to the COT data let me bring them so we can see that uh, basically uh, let me zoom it a bit for you so you can see it l really clearly uh, by the way I share this data every weekend in my channel after the update so we can see that basically the banks has been uh, growing their long position long positions since July they started to close uh, their shorts and since then they are growing it into the quite bigger numbers right so currently the latest report they reported 45k and uh, they reported 45k longs and they reported 10k shorts right which was actually in here right and what happened the next days uh, actually it was here I'm sorry and what happened the next day is they manipulated the price to the demand zone and then they moved the price higher right and when was the another report on the Tuesday which is yesterday and now look uh, to the lower time frame and it's very interesting because what happened in here is basically that uh, now I will bring the four hours time frame uh, uh, the bigger picture of the four hours time frame right so let me zoom this a little bit uh, if I will be able to do that because I have this recording thing in here uh, hopefully hopefully yes so, okay so we have uh, this four hour time frame here and uh, as said uh, here was the latest report on the Tuesday so they manipulated the price up then they bring it up higher and on the Friday price started to drop lower and yesterday uh, and the Monday Tuesday price was dropping and then uh, here I was actually expecting the price to hit this uh, demand zone which actually happened and we have this uh, bottom of the channel right and now look what these bastards started to do so they actually had the reaction in here yesterday they broke this structure they broke this uh, downtrend trend line and they moved the price higher but exactly before the before the report which is uh, after the New York session which is somewhere around here ec actually exactly this candle look how they bring the price lower so here they will be reporting the data this what we will see in this Friday report uh, this uh, their long positions will be here right but look they will be uh, they will not report such a big data they will report it as low as possible and the next day actually not next day even immediately after the report which was here they starting to buy why are they doing it 
they doing it because we don't see what's going on in here in the COT. So uh, now it's bringing to the question: Is it? Uh, is it? Does it have any value to use the COT for the trading or not? Yes, it has because uh, you must be able to read between the charts, right? Because otherwise, if you what they trying to uh, tell us in here? Look, they reach 49k, and then we can see 47, 45, 45 right so it makes you think that uh, they basically shorting but it's not true they only always before the report they close the longs and they bring them uh, actually after the report right so what we have here is the reaction on this uh, on this demazon we had uh, this break of this trend line and we had the break of this structure and then a retracement back down here and now I'm thinking the price will be strong and it will be coming up probably right we had all this confirmation to meet uh, I have shared this in my telegram channel and as well if you go to my training view uh, here is uh, actually all this idea so if you follow me you can see all this uh, uh, what uh, all this before it happens right so as I said I was expecting this reaction here we need the structure to be bro broken and then potential uh, entry right so the, here is how it's actually developing right so we will see and as well uh, on my trading view I'm sharing uh, the another another analysis which uh, I want to show you right now uh, what actually help us if we know uh, about the dollar index uh, about the dollar index uh, what's happening on the dollar index side so we know that the dollar index is bullish COT is bullish right so the dollar will be probably strong from here so it can bring us to the another chart which is the USD franc right and uh, let's go again we must always do this top-down analysis right so on the monthly what we can see here is uh, basically um, sorry I didn't want to use this one so what you can see here is the reaction on this uh, channel but most likely the reaction was this right the channels are part of my strategy but uh, it's most likely the thing which is very subjective right because once you can draw it differently than other time uh, however I have my rules how to draw them but uh, it's still not uh, that uh, um, I mean it's accurate but um, well I will make this for the another video I will explain the channels but what's always playing out and what's the most important is the supply demand zones right so we have the reaction on this one then we had uh, the price moving higher creating new high what's that mean that means that if there was a new high created here is a new demand zone right so this one was actually tested as well so what does that mean that means that uh, the monthly zone is in the control right so now here we have this uh, trend line holding price lower and potentially we could go to this uh, level right so it's bullish on the monthly on the weekly we can see that uh, on the different scale so we have the break of the trend line so here where the where this break was accumulated we have the demand zone right we have see we can see this strong move right then the price drop lower again and we have the reaction in here right then we are coming up this uh, middle band of the channel holding price lower we breaking to this uh, supply zone and now this weekly supply zone taking the price lower right but where it will go here is not uh, any supply uh, demand zone because uh, we have the reaction on this one right so we go to the daily and we can see that the price actually had uh, made uh, created this new uh, new demand zone here after this uh, short after this strong up move which is actually uh, here right so potentially the price could drop lower but we have the channel holding the price in here right so that's you know sometimes it's like playing the chess uh, and it looks like we are in some uh, in some uh, difficult situation but uh, if we go lower time frame we will see that uh, more clearly so what we can see here on this lower time frame which is this four hours time frame oh sorry I'm adding this uh, I want to delete them so uh, what we can see in here is basically this thing so we have uh, we had uh, the reaction on this bottom of the channel right then we have a strong up move here 
and then we have this uh, break of this trend line right so what that means that means that here was probably a lot of positions accumulated and then when the price has came here look at it uh, exact reaction yesterday the reaction was yesterday uh, right uh, look what time 22 22 o'clock uh, it's 10 o'clock uh, p.m. 10 p.m. Uh, when the positions are reported so what again again they don't want us to see it in the positions and look what they have they have 22 K longs which they reported here yesterday uh, on the on the last Tuesday then they moved price higher they probably closed these longs in here and then the price was manipulated down here so what's gonna be in the next report they probably is not going to be any longs because they started to bringing them after the report so again they don't want to to show see their cars right so yeah so price is moving higher now we are in this point of the control right I'm already in some positions with my scalper uh, actually if you want to uh, and you go here uh, to the trading view here I have shared my uh, investor password so if you want to you can basically follow my NT4 account uh, yeah so I'm in some positions but uh, if you want to trade with the string so I think some uh, retracement back down here into this POC will give us nice opportunity for the trading higher because the dollar is strong and the franc is uh, weak how do I know that basically based on this uh, supply demand zone analysis the channels and as well on the COT right but what still can happen we still have this uh, daily demand zone which I have highlighted uh, on the daily time frame and it still can be manipulated down here right so that's why I would put uh, my stop loss below the channel because it, what that means that means we have the one obstacle second obstacle and the channel so it's a third obstacle which has to be broken to take me out does it mean that it cannot happen of course it does not mean trading is the probability game and sometimes we win sometimes we lose sometimes our trade are not uh, executed because we put uh, our uh, buy limit too low right so I want to be in this trade and I will be able to take this risk and add more positions in here because I'm I cannot say I'm sure that it's gonna happen but I have a lot of evidences that uh, this can happen right so yeah that's uh, why I'm in this trade and uh, now I want to show you the last one is a uh, euro USD so uh, again based on the uh, analysis of the dollar and uh, euro and all of these things I'm thinking the euro will go down and that's what I actually have shared in my telegram channel and as well here on the trading view before it happened so basically uh, what I was thinking that we need to see here is the break of this uh, this structure what that means that means that actually the price has come into this uh, supply zone which is a nice uh, nice uh, evidence that uh, we could have some reaction here right so we had some reaction but in here in this moment there still was not the break of this structure so what that means that means yes that's here could be some reaction but we still can go higher right so if we if we zoom this uh, a little bit like this yeah so until we don't have this structure broken that means that this supply zone is just some zone but the price can go here and we could get the reaction here right or maybe even not so we need always some confirmation before we enter the trade right so yes we can see uh, we have the reaction in here then uh, then we need some break uh, of the structure so it's this low and then retest and then the price could go lower right so we have uh, we did some analysis of the higher time frames again and now look how it's playing out right so we had break of the structure so it's a it's a sign that uh, probably this zone will be holding right so then we well, then we add the, add the sell limit into the zone and then uh, we put a stop loss above this zone right we could of course make it like a sniper with uh, some uh, small stop loss but I always like to have a uh, room for the manipulation and right now uh, we can see again look where was uh, the price uh, uh, actually uh, at, the t at the 22 o'clock where they reported the position so it was again on the higher part of this uh, of this uh, 
you know distribution pace so now the price is dropping lower and I'm expecting it to go lower right I will not be doing the detailed analysis here on the on the on the euro because I did that a couple times so if you're watching my weekly forex forecast you probably saw it but uh, just to quickly remind we have the monthly zone in the control the potential target could be here we going to the opposing zone of course it's not gonna drop like this it would be you know it can be a lot of things he doing here here we have the month here, here we have the weekly zone again weekly weekly tested dropping lower here is a potential target 1.13 here on the daily we have again uh, the daily zone in the in in play right so here is uh, basically here we had this uh, so-called support right we have the break here was the positions accumulated for this breakout and as well we can see this big volume right this big volume is always like a magnet where the price comes back right so we have seen the price moving here then it retraced back to the zone where was this volume you can see this reaction here and now potentially we are going lower here right so many people now thinking uh, this support right price going up here we have uh, this pin bar right but uh, no no you must watch a complete picture you must watch uh, the dollar you must watch the cot and then then you uh, then you will understand it right so well, let's look to the euro uh, on the end as well and we will see that in here we can see it we can see how bearish it is right here yes we can see uh, that it was slightly going uh, from the uh, not that bearish but look it's bearish right okay my friend so as said uh, follow my trading view subscribe to my youtube channel here is the investor password where you can see what i trade so you can basically follow my trade if you don't know uh, but of course this is not the investment advice this is just for the entertainment so enjoy that and uh, trade responsibly and have a great trading day week and especially end of this month because it's gonna be amazing bye bye